Stavros. Yes, Luke, it's me. Back from the dead, again. Look again, Luke. I'm a ghost, forced to carry these chains I forged in life. You should see the chains they have for you. This is your last chance, Luke. What the hell is this? Who, who laced my drink? You're not hallucinating. Then what? Your crazy mother dug you up again? Revived you? Oh, I assure you, I am quite dead. What you see before you is a ghost. Traps between Earth and eternity, unable to move on, bound to this plane by these chains I forged in life. A prisoner, as you will be. Oh, you're, you're, a, you're a dream, a nightmare, with my fevered imagination. I'm not hearing any of this. This isn't happening. That's your arrogance, Spencer. The first link in your own chain. Next comes pride, then ambition, followed closely by narcissism and selfishness. And so it goes. Link by link, chain by chain, binding you to what you were in this life. My own chains are forged of lies, manipulation, envy, and greed, and the heaviest of them all, hatred, that tie which binds us throughout all time. God, you're even more melodramatic dead than alive. Why are you so convinced I'm not real? Because I don't believe in an afterlife. You die, you're maggot food. Or somebody puts you in a jar and sets you on their mantelpiece. Why don't you go talk to somebody who believes in you? How well I know you, Luke. I predicted you would ruin your last chance. Well, all is not lost. You will be visited by three spirits. You won't be able to avoid them any more than you will be able to escape the fate you have already chosen. I'm done talking to myself for tonight. Three spirits. Expect the first when the clock chimes. One. always were stubborn to the point of idiocy. I'm here, just as Stavros told you I would be. Helena. <laughs> no, my darling. I am the spirit of Christmas past. This is all in my head. You're alive, unless I didn't get the good news. <laughs> you are quite right. Helena Cassidyne is definitely still of this world. Right, so you can't be a ghost. You don't even have chains. And if what your dead maniac of a son said is true, you'd be carrying the weight of the world. And diamonds, perhaps? Obviously, you don't know your metaphysics. You see, Stavros is a ghost. A restless soul doomed to wander hopelessly through eternity. Whereas I am a spirit. And I've chosen this form because it's... It's familiar to you. Well, if you don't mind my saying so, there are several other familiar forms I would have preferred. This one serves my purpose. Come, Luke. You and I. 
are going to take a little journey together. Something's off. We're in the past. But no one around us can sense that in any way. Well, thanks for clearing that up. Well, recognize anyone? <laughs> Who's to recognize? There's nobody here. Luke. Do you recognize her? She looks like my sister at that age. Barbara Jean! Who is me and Do you recognize him? It's me. Social services is at the house today looking for us. We need to get out of town, or they're going to split us up. Where did he go? Go to Aunt Ruby, Florida. You don't have any money. Well, I'll have to get it from the lady. Luke, no. Listen. Okay, I'll just tell her it's for groceries. I don't know why her. She's so nice. Everyone's got an angle. How many times do I have to tell you? You can't trust anyone but me. So young and already so cynical. I always knew about people, their ulterior motives. Oh, you seem very sure about that. I am. Keep watching. Hello, dears. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. I did a little extra shopping before our outing. Barbara, I couldn't resist. I bought something for you. Hello, for me? Mm -hmm. Barbara Jean loved that coat. She kept it for years. It's the most beautiful coat I've ever seen. Thank you. You look like a million bucks. I've been looking forward to tonight. I've told my husband all about this marvelous brother and sister I happened to meet. He's looking forward to meeting us after the movie. Oh, man. There's a problem. I think we kind of need your help. And what can I do? See, our father made us go to the grocery store without giving us any money. And he drinks, as we told you. If you can loan us some money, we can go to the grocery store and then meet you at the show. If I were allowed one Christmas wish, it would be that both of you had the love and security you deserve. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Okay, we'll see his movies. That woman seemed genuine to me. Oh. Who knows what she really wanted? Bobby and I went straight to the bus station. We never saw her again. Oh, but you did. Many times, Luke. Your benefactor was Lila Quartermain. No, that can't be right. If you and Bobby had gone to that movie, Lila would have taken you home to meet Edward. It was the final step in her plan to adopt you. You could have grown up with all of the wealth and security that the Quartermains had to offer. Well, first of all, I don't believe any of this. And even if it's true, Better to grow up in Florida in a whorehouse than with the Quartermains. For you, perhaps. But what about your sister? This is Barbara Jean's bedroom in Florida. Mm -hmm.